So you want to get into one sticking, right? So you don't want to spend the money on, you know, like a tethered one stick or the ultimate one stick. Or you don't want to spend more than like 50 to 100 bucks on sticks, right? Uh, unless you can find somebody in one of these groups that's selling a, you know, pair of used sticks or new sticks or whatever condition it is, you're probably not going to find that deal. Here's what I did. So the ABI sticks at Walmart, right? Or at uh, Bass Pro, right there. Ding. Okay. They're too long. The YouTube, uh, you know, mods, if you go on YouTube, you're like, oh my God, you know, these triple step sticks are way too long. They're aggravating. They're annoying. They're heavy. They're clunky. They suck. I'm going to toss them out or, you know, people don't even think about reselling these things because they're just kind of junky. Here's what I did. The YouTube mod says, you know, take out the top step, put it where the, the knob is at, drop the knob down to the next hole, whatever. That's what you end up with. It's like 22 inches step to step. Uh, and I made some paracord aiders for it. Uh, step to step is 20 inches. I made some paracord aiders for it. Uh, I used a piece of pressure wash or a sandblasting hose, sandblaster that comes in like a little five gallon bucket kit at Tractor Supply. Uh, comes with a really long hose. You don't need all of it, so I used some of it. And paracord and, you know, tied a couple blood knots in there and this and that, and yada, yada, yada. Even then, it's still a little bit too long. So, since you have to buy sticks, and they usually come in a kit, I bought, you know, the three pack, I had two others to play with. So this is the one I've ended up with. It's about, eh, four inches, about four inches shorter. You would be surprised at how much four inches makes a difference. So, what I've done is I've got a ice pick lanyard from REI. Uh, it's like a shot cord. Well, I guess you better clip it on to yourself, will not you? Take two. It's a shot cord, so it stretches. It ain't gonna, you know, get in your way. You can kind of climb around it. If it gets in your way or it gets hung on your leg, it's not gonna impede you from bringing that step up and, uh, you know, getting that, that bit into the tree and then you can either unclip it from yourself and you know, untangle it, do whatever. It's just good to have it on you, you know, on your saddle, on your belt, on you, whatever. Clip it to you some way, shape or another because none of us wants to have that phone call of, hey buddy, uh, yeah, take that 14th left down there at the corner. Uh, you're gonna knock twice, holler once and piss on the street. And then you're gonna hike a quarter mile up that holler, two over that and take the second rock on your right, we don't want, I'm, I'm 20 foot up and my stick's on the ground. Well, and it all could have been, you know, alleviated from buying a, a lanyard or making one. The only reason I bought that was because, you know, it's made well, it's nice, it's for that, you know? So, oh well. But I did car paint, stage one paint with a HVLP gun and uh, sponging. Turned out really sweet. I did uh, green and tan on the back, gave her a good old couple clear coats. Got my AM Steel Daisy chain on there. It's 84 inch. Pretty sweet. That's uh, it's a lot better than that. You'd be surprised at how much difference in packing this one makes than this one. This one's just, it's the longest thing in my pack. Now, it's not. Don't throw crap away. Reuse it. Stay behind.